Hello and welcome to my first Flush Your video. I'm Jantina. I'm Jantina Stitches on Facebook and on Instagram. And um, yes, I'm trying to film a Flush Your video. As you can probably hear, um, English is not my first language. I'm Dutch. Uh, I live in the eastern part of the Netherlands uh, with my boyfriend and our two children. And um, if you have any questions, you can always ask me and I will answer them. So today I want to show you um, my whips and I want to tell you how I started cross stitch. So actually I'm a quite newbie at cross stitch. When I was little, um, I started cross stitch once and it was terrible. I didn't have anyone to teach me how to do it. And it ended up a disaster. I um, started with six threads in my needle. And after a few crosses, I didn't know what I was doing wrong. And I tossed it. So that was cross stitch in my youth. <laughs> so uh, about a year ago, my sister-in-law, she showed me her wonderful cross stitch. Uh, you may know her. She's Jemima, the rocking stitcher. She also made floss strip videos and if you like an amazing whip parade, you should watch her uh, videos. So she showed me her cross stitch and I immediately fall in love with it. And she explained it's just crosses. Anyone can do it. So can you. So um, I was a little bit anxious, but I, I tried it. Uh, not a hate immediately, but um, I bought a kit on um, Markplatz. It's kind of the Dutch eBay. And um, I want to show that to you. This is um, my whip bag. I made it myself. I'm not a great seamstress, but it works. So, the first. I start this one in... Just a Ziploc bag. Um, let me start by telling you I can't show you a picture of what this will look like when it's finished. Because um, it's not an original uh, pattern. I didn't know anything about um, the rights for the designers, uh, that kind of stuff. So there are a few things... Um, I can't show you the picture because I don't have it. Um, and in the future, I won't buy uh, mock-ups again. I will only buy the original. So like I said, I didn't know. Um, the thir first thing I started was this one. I don't know if it's showing, but I started in this corner and not all the crosses go in the same direction but um, I'm at a halfway point and I like it so I will uh, continue stitching on this um, I like stitching on this so much that I um, bought another similar um, sorry for the crinkling similar cross stitch kit on Aliexpress. I store this one in this little bag also with a pull string. This is also um, from Soda Stitch and their little ballerinas. Also about halfway. I took this on a, a camping trip and it's a really nice stitch and they're so cute. So that's that one. And um, my sister-in-law Jemima, she um, enabled me to start a hate. And I want to show you what it will look like. Let me see. Hmm. 
It's called uh, King Coda. We are a storyteller and it's by Amy Stewart. And this is what it will look like when it's finished. It's not focusing, but I think you get the idea. So, where I'm at at the moment is... Let me go a little bit back. So, this is where I'm at. I'm working on... This page, I'm almost done, and this is uh, 18 count, easy count, swipe card, I think. I'm really bad with names. <laughs> the other two are stitched on 14 count, regular Ada. So um, this is my focus piece. It's always just on my desk, and. When I uh, take it somewhere, I store it in this document box. So, um, King Coda is my focus piece and I love it. I love stitching hates. So, what I did is I bought another one. A story keep, not a big one. But... It's also a hate. Where did I? Oh, there, in here. <laughs> so, this one was a little bit troublesome. Sorry for oh, all the noise. Let me show you how it will look when it's done. It's Story Keep, then the Mouseling, also by Amy Stewart. And it's so cute. So I ordered fabric online. I don't know what it is, but I know I hate it. I hate stitching on this fabric. It's I don't I don't even know what kind of fabric it is. So I started in the corner. I like the size, it's 28 count, but it's so stiff and you can see it's I, I can't work with, with this on, yeah, I can't, it's too stiff. And somewhere I made a error and I, I don't know where, and I tried to fix it and it created more um, mistakes and I was so irritated and I like the image, I like the stitch, but not on this. So I uh, doubted should I start it on a different fabric and um, yeah I, I tried to start it on an even weave. I can't stitch on even weave. I have to learn and I don't know what I'm doing wrong but I, I can't um, I can't get it to work. Jemima, she told me uh, how to do it and no, it, it also <laughs> doesn't work. So maybe I, uh, normally I stitch in hand, so maybe I have to try a Q-snap or a hoop or something else. Maybe any of you have tips for me. So what I did for now is uh, I started on the same easy count fabric as the other one. I store this one in... It's just a um, cardboard roll with washi tape. So I made a little start here on the easy count fabric and I think I will continue using this. And the next time I will do a hate, I will see what I, what I am going to do. I'm a little bit sad. <laughs> so, um, what do I have? I have two other things I'm working on. Also in a Ziploc bag. I have this 
ink circles. It's a mini. This was a freebie at uh, the LNS because they um, were... Uh, see, that's the trouble if English isn't your first language. I can't seem to find words. They existed for 15 years, I think, and they gave out a free pattern. This is the edge. So uh, there will be flowers uh, all around. And I stitched this in a variegated uh, anchor thread. I don't know the number. So if you want to know, just ask me and I will look it up. And in gold and pink um, glittery threads. I have them here. They're so shiny. And I bought this at a random craft store. They're not from a particular brand or something. But they're so shiny. I love these. And oh, this is the anchor variegation I'm using. And the last one is in this little pouch. This is also one I can't show the um, picture. When I found this first, let me show you. This is Love is Patient. When I first found this, this was a, a free pattern by DMC. And I bought the kit of Ally Express for just three euros. So it was very cheap. And when I looked up a picture about two weeks ago, I saw um, it wasn't a free pattern. So I don't know what went wrong, but I will be more cautious next time. This is kind of my travel piece at the moment, and oh, I like it. The berries are a little bit thicker than the other stitching, but I think it's okay. So, this is my last whip, and I think I will do an... Uh, update about once a month maybe six weeks and i hope you enjoyed this video and my stitching like i said i'm a newbie i think i can learn more from you than <laughs> you from me but i really like cross stitch and i'm so thankful for the wonderful uh, community and i want to give a little shout out uh, to a couple per uh, persons and i'm going to forget so many wonderful floss tubers because uh, you're all amazing but some in uh, particular uh, Michelle Bendy I love her work she's amazing uh, Andrea I art cross stitch she is so such a wonderful person I enjoy her videos every time um, Pam and Steph you make me laugh so hard every time. You're amazing. And of course, Jemima the Rocking Stitcher. I'll check out her, uh, her channel. She's amazing. And I want to thank you all. Because you all took some time out of your day to watch my little video. And I hope you enjoyed it. So I hope to see you next time. And for now, uh, have a nice day. Stitch something you like. Bye.